So like I said, church doors are a great doorway to newcomers, but other, other doors have to be available too. This is where your young professionals organization, we've got the clean YP up and rolling, we've got the fountain YP up and rolling. Can I get a shout out? <laughs> All right. The code's getting rolling, Temple's just getting its lift right now. These are other doorways to newcomers. The other thing, the group that we haven't thought about, I don't think, is those real estate professionals. Those folks are like the directors of first impressions for people coming to this community. And how can we engage those real estate professionals so they know how to plug newcomers into the community? Second thing, we've got to start celebrating our multiculturalism. And this comes, I think, in two ways. Um, it includes diversifying our leadership team. So, one of the things we're going to be talking about is how we have this thing in Madison. This is very near and dear to my heart because I've engaged with it. We have this thing in Madison called Dane Dances. And it's on the rooftop of Monona Terrace. It overlooks our lake. And every Friday in the summer, and I think it's probably going to now go to first Fridays in the summer because of funding, right? But now the first Friday every summer, there is an international band of some kind. They're playing Creole jazz. They're playing world music. They're playing something. And it is like the one, it's like the, it's like the church choir. Everybody thinks they can dance. And, and everybody brings their kids to this. And because of the way the music and the food is set up, it is a festival that celebrates the region's diversity. The other piece that I want to just point out um, about the multiculturalism is this notion of who's on your team, right? Who's on your team? Some of you have heard me tell the story of the Irish potato famine. Right. The reason Ireland's potato crop got wiped out is because they were growing one kind of potato. And when I look at the leadership within our community, on our boards of directors, on our non, you know, our nonprofit organizations, our civic institutions, I'm looking around and I'm saying, where is the diversity here? And it's not good or bad. It's not good or bad. This is not like a rant against white men at all. What it, what it is, is to say that talent comes in both genders. Talent comes in every color, right? And if we want our community to be a place where international spouses can feel welcome, right? Where non-native English speakers can feel like this is a place that they can, you know, call home. Where um, people who are not white can feel like they have a place too, then we've got to make sure that we reflect that. And I'm going to add this as a scorecard issue for you guys, for your communities to think about adopting on how we diversify our leadership teams. Final, final thing here, three quick recommendations around opportunities. I would like to see a regional recruiting consortium that would stretch from Darnell to Scott and White. I've seen this work very successfully in other communities where attracting and retaining healthcare professionals, and eventually this is also going to be educational professionals when Texas A&M opens. Texas A&M is going to need to take up the hands with CTC, uh, Temple, all those colleges. But we need to work regionally to recruit. And we don't have to look in all the usual places. When I was helping North Dakota try to find doctors to move to North Dakota, one of the things we accidentally discovered was that the doctors who stay in North Dakota are hunters. So we started advertising in Field and Street, <laughs> appealing to that live first, work second. These doctors can doctor anywhere, but what are the things that they can only do in North Dakota? Hunt every weekend, right? So we've got a real opportunity to form a regional consortium and do our recruiting in a unique way. The second thing is I see a huge opportunity because of the land that was just uh, conveyed, because of the proximity to Fort Hood, the um, Texas A&M community, for us to start to incubate intentionally high-tech defense-related work. You know, um, this is going to create engineering jobs. It's going to create high-paying, green, low-carbon footprint jobs. It is a huge opportunity. And then the final piece is a scorecard that does not focus so much on the number of jobs, but focuses more on the quality of jobs. So how do we raise the median age of workers in this region 10% in the next five years? 10% in the next five years. Now, I'm going to close with this lyric from Lyle Lovett.
This needs to be the message to every single one of your transplants. You may not be from Texas. We don't care. We want you any way. And we will find a way for you to be engaged with our YP groups, with our nonprofit organizations, and helping us rebuild and redesign our downtowns. Um, I'm going to close it up, except that we have to give away seven copies um, of, I brought some books on tape, my book on tape, and Phyllis has decided who the seven lucky winners are, and then you can go and drink and eat more. Phyllis randomly drew. But Phyllis randomly drew. <laughs> Phyllis didn't decide. <laughs> You know what? Hang on, let's do one thing before I read these names. Um, I'm a fan of the power clap. You don't like applaud multiple times. We don't have time for that. You just on the count of three, we just clap one single time. This is for you. This community has such good bones on which to build, and you are going to grow regardless, regardless of whether you try to do it smart or do it with heart or do it for people versus cars. You are. But we have a choice today to vote in the direction of people, place, and opportunity. And you know, there's a reason that all these little arrows you've seen tonight, all these little arrows go up and to the right. All of them go up and to the right because that's the direction I challenge you to throw up and to the right. Now, <clears throat> let's give you a power clap on three. One, two, three. Well done. <laughs> Winners, please come and see me. Dr. Ann Ferris. Chuck. Okay, is, is Dr. Ann Ferris here? Well, then she is not eligible. Is Chuck Austin here? Costanz. Is Chuck Costanz here? Rock on. David Blackburn. Oh, he's out. Jerry Butts. Bring it, Jerry. Judy Anderson. Awesome. Mark Klinger. Duh. Mary, I know you're here. Um, Brandy Haynes. All right, and I think we've got one more. Tammy Shaw. Tama. Tama Shaw. And is that one, two, three, four, six? Wanda Williams. Oh, all right. Winners, come see me, y'all. Get your shovel ready because now we got to dig in on these recommendations. Thank you so much. Rebecca, that, that she mentioned this about the second week. We'll uh, finalize it and make it available to you. Thanks for coming. Have a safe trip home.